everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to directly mine Caspa through Hive OS here. I've done a tutorial on this, but I don't believe it was through Hive OS, it was through Windows. So I did that like a couple months ago, so I figured to do one through Hive OS here. And I'm going to show you the best pool to use payout wise for Caspa because a lot of the pools recently have switched to 100 Caspa for payout. And for maybe a smaller miner, it may take like a few days or a week to get that. And some people like a consistent payout. So sometimes the smaller payouts work better. So we're going to be using Unminable for this because they have the lowest payout when I look through all the Caspa mining pools. Their payout is only 50 Caspa compared to the 100 Caspa for other pools. So it seems like a good option if you are looking for a pool that has a lower payout. And plus I'm showing you how to do it through Hive OS. Because I have seen over like the past years that a lot of people do have trouble setting up on Mineable in general. But through Hive OS they seem to have a little more issue. I haven't had any issue when it comes to using on Mineable through Hive OS. So hopefully with this video it can help sort out any issues you're having. And hopefully this will get you rolling through on Mineable. So that way you can directly mine Caspa if that's what you're going with right now. So once you're logged into your Hive OS farm here you're obviously going to have your farm selection here. I'm currently mining Caspa as you see with my two GPU rigs. I also set up a third one. So I figured to throw on my two 1063 gigabyte cards. But then Hive OS didn't work with that properly so i figured just to throw it on windows for now so technically i have three rigs and i have over two giga hash of power but through hive os i only have the two set up so you want to click into your farm here and it's going to obviously bring you to your rigs here you want to select whichever rig you want to set up to unminable here so for example we're going to click my top one here and it's going to obviously bring you to your page here with all your gpus and everything what you want to do is go over to flight sheet here at the top here is going to have a few options and then here is going to be where your flight sheets are. So it's going to be where your configuration for your miners are going to go. And as you see, I already have it set up and ready to go, but we'll go through it quickly here. So what you want to do is make sure you do have a Caspa wallet set up on your wallets page. So we'll just quickly open that up just to show you guys. I have mine set up already. We'll just scroll down to find it. So right here, I have mine set up through an exchange just because I don't have the core wallet set up. So all you want to do is come to the top here and click add wallet. And then for the coin ticker, you want to type in Caspa. So Cas, it's going to show up as Cas, not Caspa. And then the wallet address, you're going to put in whichever wallet you are using. And then you can give it a wallet name. And then you're going to click create. And then it's going to add it to your list down here. And then when you're done that, you come back over to your flight sheet. And then we can just create a new one here for you guys. So flight sheets and as you see here this is where you can create and add a new flight sheet so what you want to do is type in coin ticker so for this one you're going to type in caspa because that's what you're directly mining to on mineable and for wallet you're going to select your caspa wallet whichever one you did set up i have two uh, i have my old core wallet which i did lose but i set up an exchange wallet for now and then pool, you're going to scroll down and click configure in minor. You're not going to worry about any of these selections. And then what you want to do for select minor, my recommendation is using LOL minor or G minor, as I have had no issues with any of those. And they seem to work best when it comes to uh, mining Caspa. So I will set it up on LOL minor and it works for NVIDIA or AMD. And what you want to do is click set up minor config right up top here. And then you're going to see coin or algo, so algorithm. And you want to scroll down here until you see Caspa. And then you're going to click on Caspa and select it. And this is where a lot of people get confused is the wallet and worker template when setting up with Unminable. So if you come over to Unminable here, uh, you're going to come over to the coins page. Usually that's what it brings you by default. And if you don't see Caspa right off the top, you can search for it here. But you want to select Caspa. And then off the algorithm up top here, you're going to have a selection of algorithms. You click K heavy hash. And as you see here, it breaks down all of like the information for mining it. And as you see, payouts are from 50 Caspa compared to 100 Caspa. So that's why I decided to go ahead and use it. So as you see here, this is where their stratum URL is going to be. But for right now, we just need to focus on setting up the address. So what you need to do is set up the coin symbol that you are mining to. So like, for example, even if I was using Kapow, you would still use the Caspa symbol. So you make sure you have K heavy hash selected if that's the algorithm you want to use. And then you're going to set up your wallet in this exact manner here. 
So I already know how to do it. So I'll just show you guys here. So you'll type in CAS in all caps and then colon. And then this is where your wallet address was going to go. The easiest way I find is click this little information button here. And then you can click add wallet. And then it's going to pull your wallet right from the configuration you set up. And then you want to click dot on your keyboard here. And then you're going to add the worker name. And that's how you set up the wallet template. And that shouldn't give you any issue or anything like that. And then what you want to do is come over for the stratum or the pool, whatever you want to call it, and click manually set a server if you do want to. And then you can select your region. And then you can click on the port here. So for example, for America or USA, I'm going to click port 80 because that's usually the best one. And it's going to automatically copy it. And then you're going to put it right up top here. And then what you want to do is delete this stratum plus TCP part and just have the K heavy hash part. And then you want to remove the 80 as a port and then just type in 80 down here. And that's going to make it so that way it can connect to the pool and uh, stratum perfectly fine. So just double check you have it set up in this exact manner and this shouldn't give you any issue. And this is with LOL miner. So make sure to try that if you are having any issue and set it up this exact way. You don't need a password. And then all you want to do is click apply changes. And then you click create flight sheet. You can give it a name here if you want. You can just fit, fill in whatever you want. And then click create flight sheet. And then that will add it to your flight sheet uh, page here. So I'm just going to go back here. And then once it's all added, it should add it down below here. I already have it running. But for example, you would have it right here. Let's say all you want to do is click this launch button. And it should launch it. And you should be mining rate to unminable, no problem. If you have any issue, feel free to comment below and I might be able to help you out depending on what the issue is. But you shouldn't have any. This is how I've ran it for years now through Unminable and I haven't had any conflict or anything. So once you have it up and running, what you want to do is copy your wallet address. After about like 5 to 10 minutes, it should start popping up on the dashboard on Unminable here. But what you want to do is you're going to see enter your wallet address. So you're going to enter it here and click search. And as you see, I already have, I have all three of my workers up and going, as you see here. And I have over two giga hash, I think. So this will spit out all the information. You might not see the information right away. Like I said, it might take like five to 10 minutes for it to pop up as normally pools do. You can set up an auto pay. So it pays out once a day whenever your balance is just over 50 cashpa. And like I said, you can go ahead and use other algorithms if you feel like you want to. And then you can manually pay out once you do hit 50 or you can hang on and build up a little more and then pay out whenever you feel like. But I just wanted to bring this video to you guys in case you are using a pool that maybe is a payout of 100 Caspa and it just wasn't working out or it's taking a little bit longer than you want to. I figured that Unminable is going to be your best option at only 50 Caspa. That really only takes me like a day, day and a half, maybe two days at max, depending if I have to shut off my rigs at all due to heat or anything. But right now I have things up and running. There's overclock and underclock settings for K heavy hash. It's a pretty solid algorithm. I'm using three gigabyte cards on it, six gigabyte cards. And I've heard you can even use some two gigabyte cards still even on it. But yeah, before I get rambling on too much, I'm going to end it here. Hopefully this video helped you guys out with any issues. Like I said, uh, feel free to comment below if you are still running into any problems or anything. I'll try my best to help you out. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as lets me know you're enjoying my content. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.